Hello, I'm Robert and this is Bounce Metronome and I've just set it to uh, play the animated skins so you can see what they look like and as you see on the, if you've got a reasonably fast computer then it's um, quite smooth nowadays and it just works uh, perfectly uh, normally you check, you know, everything just works the same as it does with a, no a normal skin uh, but everything as you can see there's this animation, animation that is running behind the buttons. Notice how all the buttons are changing and all the checkboxes are all changing in synchronization with the animated skin. Uh, it's still a little bit slow on the modern computer because uh, the, the thing is there's quite a lot of calculation that has to be done there because unlike just uh, a normal video uh, playing uh, bounce metronome. Well, uh, basically, what it does is it um, it first of all paints the background of the window, and then it cuts out the holes in it for all the buttons, and then it sticks all the buttons in and all the checkboxes and paints them all separately, and then it has to stick them all together. And so there's a, a fair bit of calculation going on there. So I, I made it as smooth as I can, but still, you. You want you, you you want to make things as easy as possible as you can for the animated skins. So you want to lose use a low resolution uh, uh, video. So this one and and now I've got it set to auto scale to fit the individual windows. It actually runs a bit faster with this at off. A bit more smoothly to switch that off. And now if I open it up like that, you can see. Oh, it's actually quite a low resolution animation that I've chosen here. And if you switch off the fade as well, then that's going to get it as smooth as this one of all. And now, if you just go back to the individual window, then it's really quite smooth at that time scale. And as computers get faster, then you know, it will eventually become possible on faster computers to run. Uh, a full scale animation, uh, even on many windows and the and on and do to ma to maximize it as well. And you might be able to do that on some computers already. So that's the animated skins. So now I'll show you if you're interested, I'll just show you a bit more about how you do them. So uh, first of all, you almost certainly will want to have this fade. It's very difficult to read what is going what is going on there unless you that's your to rescale, and you want to fade to the uh, background colour. So if you're using animated skins, you're going to want to fade them to the background colour. And the background colour is set here. You change skin colours. If you've got skin background there, and you click on edit, let's go to the left version. This is what you normally do when it first comes up. So edit selected colour. And that's what it's set to. And so we change the color like that. Change whatever background color you want. Then you go back here and you can fade it. So if you still find text looking a bit difficult to read, you can set that to say, you know, 84% just to make it because it's really very much fade here. If you don't want to fade it too much, you can fade something like 14%, whatever. And now you'll start to fade it more. So that's quite important for the basic skin, for the animated skins. So, oh, I'll just show you something else while we're here. If I go to this option to fix the skin, so that you can switch that off. I can click on the screen, and then I click anywhere on the screen. Now, I don't think, you'll probably see it's still animated, because of the thing that I've um, been using to record this. If I click anywhere on the screen, it actually stopped the animation from my point of view and I was able to click on a particular spot on the screen. So, and it, it sets it to color. So let's, yes, to show that properly, uh, uh, pause. You, if you've got skin animation, that's where you pause the animation. And so now I'll just do that again. So, click on screen, and now if I pick a color like, say, there, you can see bluish color, and you can see 
There's another thing you can do with these animated skins is uh, let's head it back to the page. But in the other way, what? So another thing you can do, and I'll show you in the future. Let's do that. Let's say thirty. Now, if I go in here, we put uh, we put the skin. Let's head it back to the animation. It's the animator skins window, then you have this option to play it as a sideshow. So if I play this, and I can say maximum frames per second, and now it's you, you've got the seconds per frame, you see, now the sideshow. So this is what then will show just a few images, a selection of images from your animation. That goes through every four seconds, it puts you a frame from your animation. 